Right then, so it says here the graph of a linear equation, the graph of quadratic, can either intersect twice, intersect once, or not intersect. And you can see that from the three diagrams below, where it's got two intersects, it's got one intersect, which is a tangent. It's not right. Or not intersect. Now, if you think what we've done is we've put the linear equation equal to the quadratic equation and rearrange it into a new quadratic, then we'll either have two crossing points, one crossing point, or no crossing points. If that's the case, I can nicely link it to the discriminant. So the discriminant helps us here to see if there's two crossing points, one tangent, or no crossing points, which is what this part here is talking about. So that's quite nice, that. that's quite nice about the symbol something we've already done. So it says, uh, given that line with the equation meets that curve at exactly only one point, so you know that's telling you that b squared minus 4ac is equal to zero. So I want to find the value of k. So I've got an equation in a straight line, I've got an equation in a curve, where it's got k's in it for a constant, but we don't know. If I wanted to find where they cross, I need to stick that 2x plus 1 where the y is, and then see what I get. Now, on the old linear modular sorry, exam papers, this style of question was really, really badly done. Like some people would be happy subbing in 2x plus 1 where the y is, but then they wouldn't be happy with what happens next. So, what I want to do is expand it and I want to collect like terms. And it's a collecting of the like terms that messes with people's heads. So I've got k lots of x squared, I've got 4x plus 2 plus k minus 2. So looking at the x squared part, the only x squared part I've got is the k. So that's going to be k lots of x squared. Looking at the x terms, the only x we have got is a plus 4 lots of x. So that's OK as well. But this is the bit which people don't like. Here, I've got a few bits that are tagged together to give me the constant term, or it might be gives you the x term, but it's this part, this kind of, this, this step here, which people don't like, creating the new three-term quadratic. So from now, I can now use the information I've got, because I was told that they intersect each other, so if they're going to intersect each other, I'm going to put them equal to each other at some point. And then I'm going to use the b squared minus uh, 4ac. So meet at one point. b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0. So my b value is 4. My a value is k. And my c value is k. I've got my i. And that's equal to 0. So my a value is k, my b value is 4, my c value is k. So I've got uh, 16 minus 4, k squared is 0. You can spot that as a difference of two squares. But I could split it down as 4 minus k squared is 0. But I should get a k is plus or minus 2 there. So if k is plus or minus 2, now you've got to think about this now, does it give us anything? It tells us that k is a positive constant. So I want to be a little bit savvy with some wonder across the room, because I like to do that. So because it says k is going to 0, therefore k has to be plus 2. So that's my part a done, and I've justified why it is that. So it says for this value of k, find the constant, find the coordinates. Okay? 
So for my kx squared plus 4x plus k becomes 2x squared plus 4x plus 2 is 0. If I stick it into poly with the board which is aligned, it will work really nicely. So 2, 4, 2. Oh, at school you would have divided through by 2, wouldn't you? And I'd x squared plus 2x plus 1. And if you look, I get the same point twice, which now confirms that it definitely is the tangent. So I get x is minus 1. And for x is minus 1, y is 2 lots of minus 1 plus 1. So y is 1, and my coordinate, oh god, that one. So my coordinate. It's minus one, one. Well, that's minus one from Donkey. Okay, this is me making mistakes everywhere. I've got a lot of mistakes. But I make millions of them. Minus one, minus one. There you go. Yeah. So there's a consolidation exercise now. And that there is the end of our first lesson. So we'll do the big time and do the consolidation in class. Well done, everybody. Bye -bye.